Hi, and welcome to Fiddlerman.com. I'm going to go through the first violin part on the Bylam Cabbage Down International YouTube Fiddlerman's project. Go to Fiddlerman.com and follow the link on the home page that will bring you to all the parts, all the files, and the click track as well, and instructions on how to send me the parts. Uh, download and play and record as many of the parts you want. Just make sure that you've used the click track or I won't be able to sync the parts together. Also, um, make sure you tune your violin using the violin tuner under learning tools on my site, fiddlerman.com. That way we'll be close to having the same intonation. It'll sound even better. So the first violin part, count down for me. Four, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Two and one, two, three, four. Short notes. Long, short, long. You can do those slides if you like. Just play, just put down your second finger on a C natural and slide it out. It, can, it doesn't have to be a C natural, I'm just giving you an, an example. All right, so the next section, we have eighth notes followed by sixteenth notes. Just make sure you use short bows on the 16th notes so you don't fall behind and so that you have a good sound on those 16th notes. So it's, um, you can either play shorter 8th notes. I'm also phrasing, I'm getting louder as I'm going up and then softer as I'm going down. So. I actually like it better if you play a little longer eighth note. And it's okay that we have different styles because I think it's actually going to make a good mix to have different styles with different feelings. And uh, if you play, you know, in a symphony or in a classical group, often we all try to do exactly the same thing for a good reason. But in this case, I think it'll work fine for us to do different things. But uh, I want, I almost would enjoy to have the Cajun feeling, an accent on the 16th and a longer eighth note. So I'm doing an accent on the on the first sixteenth note. Okay, so the next part we have double stops, mostly open strings, but this next part is a one and a three. And you can do this fourth finger with the open A. And if it's too perfect, it'll only sound like one note, but maybe if you're just a little off, you'll hear that there's a double stop, so it'll all, all actually make a nice effect. Okay, next part. Short sixteenths again, and every time you have that first eighth note, it's a longer down bow, longer eighth. So it's the same thing here that you play long, short, long, short, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Twice. Every section is twice, by the way, repeated, so it's eight bars instead of four bars. Otherwise, we won't end together. Next section. Same thing with the length of the bow. So just make sure you play a longer drawn bow and a, a drawn bow and a shorter sixteenth. And like I mentioned before, and even with this. Cajun to play the accent on the offbeat, mm ba, mm ba, mm ba, and same thing here. So if you do the fourth thing, you can even do this. And um, in order to do the string crossings easier, and this sounds weird, play closer to the frog because your string crossings are very slight when you're at the frog. But if you're at the tip, 
to, to chain strings the same amount, your arm has to move a lot more than it does when you're at the frog. So. Uh... But it's not that fast. We have a nice comfortable speed of 96. Last section, especially, you want to be closer to the bottom half than you want here. Because if you do this, watch, so I'm gonna try this so you can see the whole arm. It's a big movement, but here, watch. Especially if you play fast. You don't want to have that, you know, uh, big, unnecessary, large uh, angle movement. So, same thing with the Cajun accent. Or, that's actually what I wrote, so. So that's the first violin part. I look forward to getting your part for the project in the end of July. Thanks for visiting fiddlerman.com.